Hello and welcome to episode 7 of the Gamester's Guide to Creating YouTube Videos. In this episode we will look at finding and downloading and installing <coughs> sorry, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. OK, so let's take a look. As you can see at the top here, I've given two ways for you to find the OBS software. You can either follow the link that I've provided to the OBS website or you can type into Google Open Broadcaster Software. When you do that, at the top should be this link here. And you know it's the right link because it says obsproject.com. So click on that link. OK, let me check my notes. OK, moving on. Once you click on the link, you will be presented with this uh, page. You are on the right page if you see this picture on the web page. OK, showing you all the different platforms. Click on the green button of your operating system to download OBS. Now, this is the um, one that I'm using because I've got Windows 7. So I'm using this version, which was released last November. They have come up with a new version this year, which is multi-platform. Um, I've not tried or tested that, but obviously if you've got OS X or Linux, then you'll be choosing this one. But I've chose this one over here. Okay, so yeah, if you're wondering what operating systems OBS is compatible with, well, here you can see in this picture exactly what it is compatible with. Okay, let's move on. Once you click on that green button to download, you'll see this window. Or it may be different if you have a download manager uh, installed. However, it will all be the it should all be the same, giving you this save option. Save OBS to a downloads directory, somewhere easy for you to find. Maybe make a note of where you're you are putting it, if you have lots of downloads, so it's easy then to find it. You don't. The last thing you want to happen is that you lose it anyway. You could always just down re download it again but to save you wasting your precious time make a note of where you've put it when it is finished downloading run the installer so you'll you should have hopefully a window like this one and by clicking on run you are starting to install OBS okay once you click the run button you'll then be presented with this window Now, with OBS, normally you get all sorts of choices that, with some programs, I should say, sorry, you get all kinds of different choices. Thankfully, with OBS, you're going to see it's a joy to install. It's a simple case of us now clicking the next button. So, click the next button, and then you will see this window. As you can see, we've been to an agreements window in a previous episode, so we're getting a touch of deja vu. But of course, as all you need to now do is read the terms and conditions. It's always sensible to do that. Uh, once you've read through, then click I agree. OK. Once you click the I agree button, you will then see the installer going through. You'll see the green bar or whatever color you've got, whatever type of bar you've got going through. And that is just the quick install. So moving on. When it's finished inst installing, you will then see this screen. So as you can see, it was very fast and very simple to download and install ABS. Is that not a good sign for the future? You know when you've got a good program because you haven't had a headache 
installing it or downloading it. Quality speaks for itself, my friends. Okay, that concludes this episode. I know it was very short, but it was also very sweet. Well, maybe not to all of you. Maybe I'll get 100 dislikes now for saying that. But such is life, my friends. Wherever you are in the world, um, I should first of all say sorry. Thank you for watching. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.